what's cracking everybody welcome back to the channel so <clears throat> one of my subscribers shout out to kamai kamai sent me this new spooky video spooky it's a spooky update spooky as the guy's name though not spooky because it's halloween um and this is another soft white underbelly video i haven't done one in a while because every time i try to do it um they don't monetize them Let's try to get back. I don't know anything about this video. I was told by Kamai that this would probably be a good one. So let's find out. Hey, I see you're working out, man. Hey, keep it up. I'm like, wow, thank you. You know what I mean? Shit. It's like people don't even know, man, but they're just complimenting me, congratulating me, telling me that you have your whole life ahead of you. Like, wow, <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Sheesh. All right, spooky. So tell me what's going on in your life. It's been a long time since you've been here. Man, so far so good. I just want to thank God for another day, you know. Um, from previous to present as we speak today, you know, uh, I have been in South Central uh, about maybe a year and a half ago. My uncle in South Central, he passed away recently. Let me pause that for a second. I got to check this. All right, sorry about that. Things are happening. Things are, you know, being taken care of. But here we go. Let's try to get this done. So when the homeowners, came, uh, the people, the managers came in there to, you know, oh, yeah, your uncle's deceased. Oh, what? He goes, yeah, he passed away. So I'm not on the list. So automatically you got to go like, oh. So as we begin our journey to, you know, South Central without my uncle, just been living wherever I can rest my head at mm. without no BS over my head or, or you can't be right here or, you you're know what I mean? You're in a tent or, excuse me? You're in a tent? Um, no, uh, first we were in a- We, you know, that's, that's, you lose somebody and, you know, then the, the people, whoever, wherever his uncle, him and his uncle were living, whoever's with them, um, you know, Unfortunately, it's unfortunately that unit is looked at as a business. You know, this is where we generate money or that's how they're looking at it. Right. And there's no sympathy for, you know, hey, you know, maybe maybe they were great tenants, but great tenants or not. They look at it as hey, you got to go, you know, and um, when he said we, I wonder if he's going to say who who's with him. A truck, a truck that was a, a G ride in the back lane in it. When the project was empty lot, the construction came in to, you know, do all the grass. <laughs> truck had to go outside. When truck went outside, cops pulled us over. Hey, um, is this your truck? No, no, it's not. Tell you what, um, this is someone's truck. It's a G-Ride. Since we know that you're living right here, next door to this duplex, get all your stuff and get a mm. tow truck and it's going to be towed away. Thank you, sir. Took everything out. Tow truck, I mean, the tow truck took the truck, truck away. And my lady, her name's Lorinda. Is it called, stolen? Uh, it, it was a stolen G-Ride, but my lady didn't know nothing about it. So she was working for a boss named Mr. Ball, which was uh, four units. Back unit was burned down. So he asked her to watch this property. So we were in the middle unit and comfortable, set. Once they find out, oh, there's an essay, bald head with tattoos. Oh. The tattoos must be under the shirt. <laughs> Benji, don't let that guy, excuse me, guys. Do not let that guy gangbang on you like that. Go out there and get him, Papa. You go get that dog. All right, Benji's thinking about it. Meanwhile, yeah, uh, SA, bald head. I'm with you, homeboy, and tats, full of, t full of tats. He, I don't think he said full of tats, right? Yeah, that dog is talking shit to Benji, and Benji ain't doing nothing about it. I'm going to have to talk to him. Oh, it makes her look bad. Hey, you know, I thought oh, I, only, I only want you to, you know, live there, not not you and your man. So now she has to leave, and it's all a lot of BS. But we have gradually went from one place to one place to one place to one place, just to, you know, bouncing around. Finally, we got stabled right here in downtown LA on 16th Street by the Metro bus station, and uh, you're you're in a motorhome or um, RV. RV. RV, uh, 28 foot RV. It's very nice. Uh, my lady got it towed from Baldwin Hills to South Central and from South Central to 16th Street. 
four tires, it's like uh, two tires put together, four tires blown out. It completely don't run. She got towed over there and she wants to sell it, but it's like, who wants to buy this baby? Cause it's like four tires, you know, then the battery is no good. And they put a lot of money, it puts a gasoline. Shout out to Spooky though. Um, we've been all over the place um, so far, right? From one place to one place to one place to one place. Um, why would they want to sell? I mean, I don't know. She has a plan. The women in our lives are always smarter than us. I'll say, I'll say that right now. Um, <clears throat> but if you live in that RV, why are you selling it? <coughs> why are you selling what, what you live in? You got you to gotta move out and get something better. Then try to sell it, right? For whatever you can get. And, and apply that to um, your new living situation. But um, let's go. You know what I mean? So it's like, you know, let's be thankful that we have a roof over our head mm -hmm. and we're okay. Exactly. Plus, we have a Dodge Ram van. 2001, battery went dead. I went to go change your battery, put the cables backwards. It blew a black fuse. Smoke was coming out. Oh, shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, okay, call the mechanic. They make more trouble. And now we're like, we have no running van. I'm like, oh man, it's like, <laughs> you know, what, what else can go wrong? So basically we're just stable right there on 16th Street. And my lady Tweety, she was telling me. That Lorinda, AKA Tweety. <laughs> and you know what? I haven't been in the gym in a while, but uh, Spooky's making me feel like I'm on swole right now. All right, my bad. That I have my son that's a little more further down. His name's June June. I said, Oh, yeah, yeah, I know your son, you know, but he's with an only outer lady. You know, I know June June since he was down 12, 13 years old, but this girl's a little more older than him. To this day, she's 45 and he's 17. Like, what the hell? <laughs> Whatever. You know what I mean? But, you know, it's his life, it's who he chooses to love. But her ex husband lives in front of them. Wasn't the question, are you are you in a tent? This is why Mark is good at it, though. Because he's just patient. He's like, talk. Just talk, Spooky. And um, I'm glad Spooky came in his pajamas, though. Like his pajama bottoms. Oh, they're going to do the picture highs, but they're probably short, so I'm just clowning. You guys don't get mad, man. This is what we do. When we do these reactions, we get our clown on. <clears throat> the question was, are you in a tent? Which my lady <laughs> wonderful to go see her son. Are you hungry? You need some money. Here you go, mijo. You know, but she's a little, oh, get, get it to mama. You know, what does she want now? Like, <laughs> girl, what is your problem? That, that, that's, that's her son, you know? Like, you know, let mom take nurture her boy and take care of her boy. I mean, whatever, you know I me. Mean? But she had a badass attitude. And then when she told me, she was like, oh, her ex-husband, I went over to see my son. He had a bat in his hand. You get it. Hey, sacate aquí. Hey, is my son here? No, 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 no. Get out of here. Okay, okay. Hey, don't need a stretch hip. When she told me the message, I said, what? He put a bat to you and verbally, like, like trying to, like, you know, whack you? Like, trying to scare me. Okay, so I go walking over there. And the guy was right there. Hey, get, get it. I go, come here, homie. I go, hey, um, if you ever, ever put a bat to my wife, ah, get into sposa. Who's your sposa? Don't worry about it, homie. If you ever threaten my wife again, ah, dile que venga para acá. Dile que venga para acá. Homie, shut the fuck up, homie. Homie, if you ever threaten my wife, homie, I will fucking kill you. Oh, damn. Oh, no, no. Talk him over here. Who is she? Who is she? He's talking so much. I hit him one time with my left. Fool fell down by the black fence. I guess his girlfriend comes. I the black fence. Pasando. I said, chinga tu madre. Like, oh. fuck you. You know what I mean? And I kept on pushing. What? Come on, big dog. Your lady got disrespected, threatened, and you rightfully came out there. But then you be, you 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 drop this guy with your one punch, right? And then you disrespect his lady. I think all your tattoos are making you go crazy. I go tell my lady, honey, um, honey. you might want to text your son because um, I suck that guy, the one that tried to threaten you. What? I have blood on my hand, and she goes, oh my god. I said, well, I mean, babe, I said, don't trip, don't trip. But I'm thinking he's going to go cry to your son's 
ex-wife that whatever, whatever, whatever. And as soon as she decided to text him on Messenger, Mom, hey, mijo, I jumped in. Hey, uh, June, June, there might be someone out on your window telling you, hey, 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 uh, some puro problema. What do you mean, spooks? I knocked out this guy named Man. I, what? Come on. I knocked him out. He might be coming out your window <clears throat> crying to you guys. Oh, hey, you fucked up, spooks. Click. I looked at my, I looked at my lady Tweety like, oh, I fucked up? Okay. This is your son 17. I fucked up? Okay. I might sit here and be like, oh my God, I'm scared. I'm, well, I mean, whatever. Next thing you know, her and I are in the RV. I step out. One of the other RV neighbors next to us was talking to us. He goes, hey, uh, someone's coming over here. I go, hold on, babe. I look outside. Hey, your son's coming. Her son comes with his girlfriend and her ex-husband. At another person. Her son's girlfriend's on the far oh. left-hand side. Oh, here we go. With a taser. Oh. Her ex-husband's in the middle with a fucking samurai sword that you can split in half. And you can fucking have two fucking little, you know, medium daggers and like chop suey, whatever. And her son, Junju. <laughs> Is with a bat. The same one. Okay, I got me a fucking chrome, um, chrome caressor wrench with a red handle. Let alone the detail, homie. Nobody. This is the Stephen King of soft white underbelly. You guys ever read a Stephen King book? That dude tells you every detail when you walk in. When when the character walks into the room, every detail. I think that's why I try to be more detailed because I probably read like thirty of his books, right? But spooky, man. He has a, a chrome car caressant wrench. You got to say it like him. I'm not trying to. That's what he said. Car caressant wrench with a red handle. The other guy. So the guy that has the two samurai swords, if we, if you saw the way uh, Spooky was demonstrating how you could use them, hopefully that guy uses them like that because your crescent wrench is going to win. Just saying. Oh, I'm a true striker. If I want to defend myself. No. This bitch no, hold up. Hold up. You were a two striker when you socked that dude too. <laughs> you can't use that as an excuse now. You know what I mean? It's run back time. You know the game. You put your hands on somebody, they want to run it back. Unfortunately for you, they sent a bunch of people. One has a taser, so they're gonna tase you. <laughs> Let's see. Let, I want to see again. The question was: Are you living in a tent? In the head, she falls down. Ambulance pick her up. I get handcuffed, hit him in the head, crack a skull. I'm fucked either way. So what do you want me to do? Get taser, chop suey, hit with the bat. He ran. I'm okay, officer. I'm okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. And then don't, you know what I mean? You, he ran. It was just like, I'm the one going to get fucked. I can say, oh, stop the fence. I'm fucked no matter what. So the guy in the middle with the samurai swords, he was doing fucking Yoshinoya, chop suey. He couldn't get to me because I had the thing long enough to keep my extent. But when he got mad, he... <laughs> Threw one of them. He threw one of them. I went like this and it sliced my eyebrow. Boom, Birdie just nicked me, but it was so sharp it, it cut me. And the second one he had in his hand, he threw it. Boom, just scraped my fucking neck and took a little piece of fucking skin off and I was just leaking. My boy said Yoshinoya. He started naming Japanese restaurants. <laughs> <coughs> oh, my God, he... And the guy is throwing swords at him, and he's not missing. But he's also not leaving a mark on the guy. Like, the mark was there, you know, but now there's no scar. There's no nothing. Smato is, like, incredible. They end up backing up. Why? They end up taking off. My girl goes, babe, you're bleeding. I'm like, hey, uh, I'm good. I'm good. Oh, my God. Don't trip. Ambulance, fire department, what? police come. What? Damn, you want to go to the hospital? Nah, I'm straight. My girl can't really be in the dark by herself because she gets a little <laughs> paranoid. Hey, um, from experience, I don't know how, you what know what I mean? It's so sharp, fuck? so quick, you know? I don't know how. When you swallow, I go, it just, you know, when I talk, it just pulls a muscle. Because, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, you got to get that checked out. And I told the ambulance, they put me on the tablet, talked to a doctor at, um, at uh, San Pedro Hospital, and they were like, sir, how are you feeling now? I'm, I'm okay, just a little sore throat, you know, when I swallow, but are you sure? Okay, okay, um, 
if you have any other like you can't breathe or you happen to fall asleep and and you know uh you know can't breathe and you want to start throwing up or whatever come down as soon as possible so we can take a look at it but um other than that yeah if you can't breathe just still breathe and just like walk a few miles um and then stop breathing again and then we'll, we'll fix that that if you're okay then you know hey you know we're right here i said thank you and <laughs> one of the ambulances says, let me give you a butterfly put two butterflies snapped it snapped took it. pictures made a report okay got a report as i think i didn't go to the hospital i'm in the rv she's like up up and then she falls asleep i'm in my mind like retaliation i can't go to sleep so i'm gonna wait for the comeback and i'm waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting like she's known for burning rvs down oh come on girl where you at nothing happens she's knocked out i decide okay let me just lay back a little bit i lay back oh no 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 my whole body goes back like oh uh. so i had to sit up the whole night keeping gallo thinking for retaliation She's knocked out, and I'm like, oh, my. <laughs> Look, it's spooky. He's probably one of the best. Johnny's the king. But <clears throat> I'm surprised his brain wasn't coming out of his eyebrow, too. You know what I'm saying? Since, um, <laughs> fuck. God, this is crazy. Yeah. As the days goes it on, is. you know what I mean? I'm kind of healing, but... As for detectives, hey, Daniel, we gave you a call, but you didn't answer the phone. Hey, um, has there been any retaliation since the previous times and this and this? I am looking at the text message. Couldn't get a hold of me. The people that did this to me are right down the street, like, damn, six RVs down. Shh, shh. They ain't going nowhere. They're right there. And I'm like, okay. Did so he fart I... right now? Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that noise? Shit is literally getting thick. Since the previous times and this and this, I am looking at the text message, couldn't get a hold of me. The people that did this to me are right down the street, like damn, six RVs down. They ain't going nowhere, they're right there. And I'm like, okay, so if I use that, my eh? retaliation, if I go set forth and make my point across, Woo! I'm fucked. Not them, me, okay. And it's like, they're still there. They don't get fucked with, they don't get arrested. My life almost got killed. And then a lady's like. <laughs> My life almost got killed. This bottle's fucking great. But he's mad that they didn't go to jail. <laughs> oh, man. This shit is amazing, man. Just give it time, babe. I'm like, give it time for what? I mean, you know, you do your job. You get, it's almost like just basically saying like, you know, hey, my life's on the line here. I'm lucky to be alive. But yet you guys let these people still roam the streets. I am like, you know what? Spooky. Listen, homie. Today's batch was a bad batch, big dog. It's making you think crazy. So, um... Next time, don't even show up in your pajama bottoms, right? But this line of thinking right here, um, it's interesting. It's all good. My lady tells me, she goes, hey, uh, my son came to me recently and just apologized to me. Apologize to you? <laughs> For what? I mean, that's your little boy. Don't get me wrong, but I'm the one that almost got my life taken. But, you know, hey, it's... It is what it is, but... You get tired of this life? You better... You, you better, you better you, okay, hold on. Before he gets going. Do you get tired of this life? There's still what? My math is bad right 12, 13, 14. Almost 15 minutes of it. I bet you it's just all this. We're not going to go the full whole video. I think we've seen enough, right? But we're going to... Look, at he, he's like licking his lips right there to tell us what he's... <laughs> You've been on the streets most of your adult life, right? Most likely, sick and tired of being sick and tired. You don't look for trouble, but trouble follows you. You don't start no shit, but shit comes to you. Like, do I want to twiddle my thumbs? Like, okay, go ahead, hit me. And then hit me. 
officer, I didn't do nothing. Oh yeah, you're two striker? Yeah. Oh, come on, like what the? It's, it's so sad because any violence that I do to anybody, to a man or a woman, and they're knocked down an ambulance to pick them up. Um, yeah, who did this? Yeah, um, yeah, come here, sir. Okay, let's, let's rewind it. You did right, you did right when you defended your woman. You cracked the dude, you knocked him out, blood was everywhere. You didn't care about two strikes then. See, you care about two strikes when people come at you, though. There's a disconnect there. I think it was the last video. I was like, you know, you could tell he's probably got a good heart, right? But drugs drugs do a number on people's brains, man. And um, yeah, I don't know. Let's... Where's the full body fucking uh, slow slow pan so we can see? I want to see, are these really his pajamas? And see if maybe his feet have tattoos because I'm still stuck on the tattoo thing. <laughs> so you want me to get tasered? Bzz, tasered by her. Chop suey a little bit with scars on my face. Hit with a bat. I'm okay, officer. Yeah, I, I survived. That's so stupid to think that, hey, well, good thing that you didn't you know, use force. He even told me that you did the right thing by calling us to do our job. And I sat there and was like, dude. Whoa. I think I went too far in this video. <laughs> Spooky. I think you said your name was Daniel? Daniel. Did you call the cops on him? Uh-oh. Your job for what? It's out of your division because it's an investigation report. What's one division higher? So it's out of you guys can't do. You guys can't fuck with it. It's 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 the detectives, and detectives tell me, oh, I can't get a hold of you. And I look down the street, <laughs> they're still there. I'm <laughs> like, wow. I tell my lady, if I try to retaliate, do anything stupid, or try to burn the trailer or the, or the RV, it's called arsonist. Who was the last one? Us. You might be here. I'm gonna take off. Where's your old man at? Arsonist for burning the shit down, that's liable for um, bodily, uh, human in danger of, you know, killing individuals in, a, in, 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 in an RV or a trailer. That's like beyond like, I hear you get charged for that big time. Like, dude, so basically no one gives a fuck about me when they try to attack me and I survived, but I'm okay. But now you want to. And so my lady goes, babe, I go, you know what? In my, all my life, it's like, <laughs> When your time is your time, and all my testimonies that I have been through, of my job, being stabbed, being drugged by a car. <laughs> hey, yo, look. Like, I'm supposed to be pausing, right? But it's, it's, it's like, amazing, right? Like, has, did any of this really happen? Obviously, the guy is, is going through some shit. Like, I don't even feel like I can make fun of anything now. You know, I like to clown and, and have fun and make you guys laugh, and I like to laugh. But there's really, really something wrong in, in the, the line of thinking, right? Somebody threatened your lady. You went over there, and you cracked them. And I guess you didn't, like, they weren't supposed to respond. And then the guy threw fucking Yoshinoya uh, blades at you because you had the, the, the caressant wrench, but the chick had a taser. Like, it all makes sense. How much more worse can it get? I said, believe me, it gets Stupid, worse when you least expect it. It's like, dude, guy with the summer starts wants to kill you so bad and throws it at you, wants to have it go through your throat and be like, and then pull it out like, and it squirts, and then you die. Like, that's a fucked up way to go out. But he couldn't kill you, so when you move, it slices you. The second one, if that sword would have went, mm, leave it alone, leave it alone. Don't, don't, don't pull it out. No. <laughs> if you pull it out, I'm gonna die. Yeah, leave it's it like in. a fucking like damn. It's a piercing. Just tell and him he it's got a piercing. mad because he couldn't kill you. So what? 
he had to take off the mountains because, oh shit, I'm in trouble. Damn right you are. <laughs> so it's like, here I am, still standing, still thank God that, you know, being sick and tired of being sick and tired, sometimes it's just like, you know what? It's not how you handle situations. Oh, but you've been, you've been on the streets most of your life? Most of my life, yeah. Because when I hit 21, I went to prison. I paroled when I was 38, 17 straight. Damn, been out for nine years of my life. That's the longest I've ever been out in my life with two strikes. Man. You only went to jail once. The longest... You went to jail when you were 21. You did 17. No, the longest you've ever been out in your life is 21 years. <laughs> you know, <coughs> if I could be an example by sharing my Oh, my yeah, experience. no, we're not going to do that. Thank you, guys, man. I appreciate you. Kimai, thank you for um, recommending this video. You guys can recommend videos to me. Um, I don't know if this, is, this one's going to go green. We'll find out. But um, Spooky is going through some stuff. Um, and I wish him the best, man. I'm glad he finally took the sunglasses off his forehead, too. I don't know why. I always think that looks weird when people do that or when they put them in the back of their head like that. Yeah, that, too. But anyways, everybody, please be safe, be smart, and tell the ones you love that you love them. I'm out.